welcome to Remember How It Was. We are the Washington family from Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm here in Greensboro. I'm Justin. I I'm am Wambui Bahati, <laughs> and I am here in Harlem, New York City. And uh, welcome back to our Remembering How It Was podcast. Last week, we had a wonderful guest, uh, Professor Ship, Dr. Ship. And uh, we had such a good conversation. We wanted to have him back. We are going to have him back. We're just waiting for all of our schedules to line up again. But he's definitely going to come back for part two. But today we have a different topic. Um, brother, you want to share what it is we're going to be dealing with today? Yeah, today's topic is uh, health care. Our health, health care. Health care. Our health care. Our healthcare. <laughs> not there. Not the health care. Our <laughs> health care at 615 Julian Street and at 1207 Greenleaf Street in Goldsboro. Our health care. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and we're going to be remembering how it was. So uh, we've been hearing in the media how is they say is is flu and cold and now COVID season. So. Uh, we, we thought we'd take on this topic today of remembering how it was when we were growing up in Greensboro in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Brother, do you want to start off well, with anything? Yeah, because uh, back in the day, I'm pretty sure it was this thing called cold and flu season. But <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't ever remember mama stressing it. You just, no. you just got the cold or flu. You yeah. would get it. And then you would work on it from there. It was no preventive medicine. <laughs> was, preventive preventive you, medicine was your, wear your coat and hat. Was your, was a, right, the preventive <laughs> medicine was eat your vegetables, yes. put a hat on your head, <laughs> fasten that coat up. <laughs> yeah. And oh yeah, yeah. You, uh, oh, I was going to mention this a little later, but I'm gonna, remember, do you remember Castoria? Remember? Yes. I do. I so do. you take I your do. castoria or castor. We we didn't really take but that, there were some kids go ahead. But but that wasn't preventive. That wasn't preventive. That what that, that was, was <laughs> what the castoria? Uh, the castor, that wasn't preventive. No, we didn't okay. have anything preventive. That was just how they say to clean you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Castoria was to clean you out. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go back. Let's go back to colds and flu. So, okay, so we'll get to that. Okay, later. okay. Well, but yeah, keep your well, head on your head. <laughs> yeah, but I just remember when you when uh, uh, I would get the cold, well, the cold flu, whatever it was, I would get it, and I remember I, I was laid there. Mom used to slap this Vicks paper up on my chest. Yes, <laughs> and she would put a little bit of these nostril. Oh, yeah. And I would lay there. <laughs> and, and, and then you would cover up real good. And cover it, and it up real like good. It it seemed, and it seemed like that was a cure. The way I remember it, you didn't have it very long, the way I remember it. It's just like, no, I got a cold. It seemed like um, <laughs> we didn't. Um, I don't remember either, but then I wasn't paying attention to the media like I do today. So I don't know if they were saying, oh, flu season is coming. You need to get ready. Yeah. You know, it's going to be a, this strand this year. So yeah. I don't remember any of that. Like you said, I just remember whatever was going to happen. It was going to happen. It, it was going to happen. We got our mix vapor up and yeah. we got aspirin. Yeah. We got that aspirin that used to come in the yellow and, and brown. Bear, bear aspirin. Bear aspirin. We got our, we got was, our bear that aspirin. Was, that, was, that, was a, that was a staple. That we good. We good. So, yeah, and, and, and um, I remember our doctor, we had a doctor that I never saw except for a vaccine, which you called a shot. But I, yeah, back I, in the day, I, it's not I the only vaccine, remember but going to the doctor. Shot. That's the only time I ever remember. And I only remember, I'm sure there were more, but I only remember that one shot in that spot. That's on my yeah. arm yeah, the, from that yeah. shot. Everybody so. has that circle now. Everybody <laughs> got it. If you don't, you don't so, get it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what generation you're from because you got right. that scar. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we. I don't remember. Like no, we we weren't going to the doctor. Going to the doctor. No, if you got sick, somebody knew how to give you no. something to make you better. I I, I remember. This thing that, uh, and it might still be around today, but I don't know. But I remember if you had the sniffles or something, 
Mama will shove the thing up your nose and push and you snort. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, it was like it looked like a tube of chapstick, but it was. It, it yeah, it was like snorting. a little vapor stick. They still sell. I still see those in the drugstore. They, it's like a vapor stick. That and the vapor rub. We were good. Yeah, we were good. Yeah. And we were, we if you good. got sick, like nobody ran away from you. <laughs> I mean, no, you know, nobody ran away it from was you. like, oh, you know, it was kind of like accepted that that was the natural way things that oh, were. And, some and, people, and, and, some and, people and are going to get runny, sick. The, runny, the, the, the cure for the runny nose was. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of runny nose, but um. <laughs> and nobody, like I said, nobody ran. You just like and nobody <laughs> ran. Nasty. I mean, nobody. so it was like we were we were pretty much good. If you got sick. Sometimes I didn't like missing days of school because a lot of times school would give you an award if you got all your days. If at the end of the year, that would be an award if you could say you had been yeah. every day. But there were times when I'd get sick and it was like, OK, it, it was almost I didn't want to look forward to it. But when it was, it was like you got to stay home. You got to wear your pajamas all day. They put Vicks Vapor Rub on you. You got to watch I Love Lucy or whatever was on the TV. But, and it was just like seemed, this wonderful day. <laughs> it seemed like I remember I, I remember you fighting to go to school. I remember you, you, you was yes. a trooper. You was, you because was a trooper. Um, I didn't like missing days. And like I said, I remember, especially from the elementary there was, I wanted to be that person that say, I was here every day. I, that was like a competition for me. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't um, go. Cool. In fact, one time I should have been home and I was determined I was going to go because I wasn't well. I wasn't well, but I wanted to go. I, this is an elementary school. And yeah. I remember <laughs> I got a little woozy and I didn't think, but I just kind of like, yeah. oh, I couldn't stand it. I fell. And that's where I broke one of my front teeth because that the way I, I fell. Was cool. and, yeah. yeah, and because I didn't want to miss a day, and uh, so I shouldn't have gone. Mama yeah. tried for me yeah. not to go, but I said, "No, I'm going to go. I'm good. I'm yeah. good." And so, but then after that, I think I just kind of like started learning how to go with the flow, and the flow was pretty good because you got to stay home and eat, watch TV. Oh man. Oh man, Have, uh, I, I, I was I was Campbell's soup, Campbell's chicken noodle Campbell's soup. Campbell's soup, chicken noodle soup. I don't know where <laughs> we always said that was that was a staple. That was a sick staple. Chicken noodle soup. Had, had to have uh, that. Had to have that. You, you know. So, I, I, but I remember uh, those those things like uh, scars. You would get cut up, and and it, it had to put alcohol on it. No matter what it was, you could have a brain laceration. <laughs> <laughs> you could put alcohol. On. <laughs> now, the, 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 the opposite to that was if an adult said you need to go to the doctor or worse yet, the hospital, oh man, you knew that was, that must be, I would start crying because yeah. that's like serious. That's serious. Like yeah. if you're, if you're, uh, yeah. if you yeah. can't fix that with alcohol and a band aid and vapor rub. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> then it's uh, that means you're very um because i remember and i want to get back to what you you had told me something about the army so i want to get back to that in a minute but um uh, i remember okay. um our brother uh joel who's let's see the, uh, there's me then no there's roberta okay, i'm trying to think roberta you and joel R roberta me joel and then you you the little baby yeah but uh joel yeah. was running I don't know why he thought that was a good idea to put marbles in a jar, <laughs> yeah, a glass we jar. About that point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And but he was running with that jar and he fell. And I remember Mama saying, "I got to take you to the doctor. Or you got to go." <laughs> and so, just the fact that she said that that yeah. she didn't say, "Let me get the alcohol. Come here." Give me the box of band-aid that she said, oh, my God, yeah, we got to go yeah, to the doctor. Yeah. I knew that was serious. And that that really um, was nerve wracking yeah. for me until he got <laughs> patched up. But I don't remember well, going you know to what? see Dr. He, Rubin. 
That was our doctor. Yeah. doctor he crossed. Was... He crossed the medical. He, he he crossed the medical line when he got hurt. Like that. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he took yeah. it out of the hood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I, but uh, God, God bless, God blessed us. So we just could, we just didn't have oh, a lot of emergencies like that, and we just got through with like. Like I said, Dr. Rubin, you said that was your doctor well, me, too, Dr. Tell, Rubin. Let me, let me tell you a little, little bit something about Dr. Rubin. Uh, mm -hmm. He was, he's, he's always in my, well, what it was, he was my doctor. Mm -hmm. Then he's where he was my daughter's doctor. Dr. Get Rubin. out of here. He's still, and somehow oh when, my God. Then, 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 then he stepped aside and his son was Dr. Rubin. He was my grandson's doctor. Get out of here. I didn't, yeah, I didn't so, know that. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, so he so he, he, he lived to tell the tale. He lived to tell the tale. Yeah, but so I don't remember yeah, seeing deal. him that much, and that was probably a good thing. But I don't remember seeing yeah. him just uh, because we never went, we never went to the doctor, like I said, except to get when the school said you needed to get something. But then again, it wasn't like today, brother. Like we got maybe four or five shots. <laughs> These kids today. I don't even want to know my grand, what, what they're telling me about my grandchildren. <laughs> they get 50, 60 shots, like in their childhood well, up through school. It's a well, lot. I, it's a lot of, I, I just it's remember, a lot of I, shots. I just remember, I remember we just had a, we, when we, and I hope I'm talking for you, we just had a little shot record and you had yeah. to keep up this thing and say what you got and you had to right. get a shot uh, to go to school, had to get a couple of shots to go to school. And yeah. I like I said, my grandson, I know he has some shots. I don't know the extent of how many shots he got, mm -hmm. but he they're in this new era where everything you could be get a pen for a needle for everything. So I don't know what this new era is doing, but yeah, we had to um, have fun. Yeah, and, like, it makes me was, cry like, when I see how much uh, uh, vaccines, uh, well, vaccines or shots these <laughs> children are getting. It's just when I realize that we didn't. We weren't that sick. We we weren't as I'm gonna go there. We weren't as sick as the kids are today either. Oh man, like, I, I didn't we, know. I, I, I people allergic to things I never heard of as a kid. People allergic to uh, fish, uh, shell fish. People allergic to peanuts. Uh, you got to you know. You, it was you take very your rare and, that yeah, that yeah. somebody was alert. It was very very rare. I don't remember. Cause we took peanut butter and jelly. That was our staple, peanut butter and jelly oh, jelly yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. So I don't remember the peanut um, allergies being. I don't remember that. At, I don't I, experience it, it that at it all wasn't as a, a thing. child. It wasn't a thing. We didn't. And nobody. I don't remember anybody. If, like I said, I didn't know everything happened in Caldwell School in my junior high schools, but it wasn't a thing. You just had an allergy. Yeah. You you ate what you was given to you, and you survived. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, <laughs> yes. Um, I remember the only thing I remember is I remember there were a couple of kids who I that's where I remember hearing the word for the first time diabetes. There were some kids. There were a few, very few, but there were a few kids that I remember had they said they had to eat certain things because of diabetes. Yeah. But I don't remember the allergies. I don't remember you couldn't bring certain things to school. You know, like I know to today and I'm I'm assuming that's how all the where my grandchildren go, like you got to say what you're going to bring. If you're going to bring something, they have to know what it is because they got to know what's in it, you know, and for the most part, they just yeah. want you to bring a packaged something as opposed because I know the parents used to make stuff, you know, um, I didn't when my kids were little because <laughs> even though we could because. Yeah. I would just go to the store, buy that pound cake, slice it up, wrap it in some foil like I made yeah, it, yeah. and take it back. But, but today, but uh, the kids, you, they got to know, I, I, and more my kids go to school, you got to know, they got to know what's in it because egg, sometimes, some you just got to know what's in it because somebody's allergic to something. And um, so... That's right, so, but, I, I, but I, I remember... I remember mama used to uh, make my lunch all the time, and like that was that was the that was the black market for me, man. I would take that, that take that sandwich to school. I could trade a half a, a tuna fish, one of mama's tuna fish sandwiches for anything. I was yeah. balling at meal time. I, you know, I have yeah. to keep a half for myself. But I was like, I would I would hit the black market, and I would get marbles. I would get 
<laughs> I would get I would get Fritos because you know you know we 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 just like we talked about earlier the Charlie Chip Man used to come every blue moon, but we wasn't the kids who could take a bag of chips to school. We didn't have chips like that in the bag. Yeah, right, right. So so uh, uh, half a sandwich, I could hit the black market and get gum. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the <laughs> yeah, yeah was, people. Yeah, we used good. to trade food, and people. It was like to, what it seems like today. You have to be careful, especially in the lower grades, because um, kids. So many kids can't eat certain things now without. Well, yeah, I guess sick. if you do that, like nowadays, you can you can uh. You can get a lawsuit because you shouldn't have gave my kid that half a sandwich. You shouldn't have did. Well, that. isn't that why? Uh, <laughs> you know? Isn't that why they don't do? Because um, they used to do one of the staples on an airplane trip was you would get peanuts. You used to get peanuts, and I think that's yeah, the reason why yeah. they don't do the peanuts on the um, airplanes anymore is because of these. Um, you know what? You know working. what? I just thought they. I just thought they were being cheap, but that's probably right because per people probably eating things that it wasn't supposed to get. They didn't want to be responsible for you. Well, of course you know, not. I yeah, that, yeah. That, that makes that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but you know, and then, and I'm, then I'm they say somewhere. sometimes you don't even have to eat it. You can just be near it, like, like that's when I've heard. I've heard that. Right? I've heard you that, just near it, and too. you can have a reaction. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm going to go to Goldsboro real quick. And I remember okay. Mama, one time she told a story about she had burnt her arm. And that's oh, I think this happened. I remember that. And she had burnt her arm. And, and, and her mother took her to a, I guess, a fire talker or somebody who could talk the fire out. I think that was the word. I mean, talk talk it out. And uh, mm. and and somehow they would talk it out, say some words and rub some things. And, and it pretty much will cure. You remember something like that? I remember, uh, I don't remember that one specifically. I remember when she burned her arm and that just broke my heart because I just felt like she just seemed like she was in such pain and it felt like there was nothing I can do. And I felt, I just, I felt so bad th when that happened. Mm. But I do know that there were different remedies that um, were like people, I mean, they, something about you tie a string around your neck in a certain way if you have <laughs> something it, or wear yeah. this bead, uh, you know, I guess a lot of it would be considered kind of like today and would be, well, maybe uh, witchcraft. <laughs> witchcraft, <laughs> voodoo, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. Uh, but there were all these uh, things that, different things that people, I know that there people had a lot of different things, remedies yeah. that were not, yeah. Yeah. you, you had to you would you would you, <laughs> hush, hush, you, would, you didn't you, want to talk yeah. about but they were but, doing I mean, all I remember, these see, things like I, I remember like i can't i don't remember whose people were but mm -hmm. it seemed like you go to somebody's house and they mm -hmm. would do their thing witchcraft or whatever they would do their voodoo yeah. thing and they, you, you know it was only a certain people who had this skill or had this power but you can go yeah. to them <laughs> yeah you know seemed yeah like I, yes. I, I remember something like that yeah i don't know the details either but i do remember that there were and it seemed like we weren't supposed to know the details. That's why we don't know the right. details. It was like, right, right, right. It was taboo. Y'all don't need yeah. to know. This yeah, is no. grown folks. Grown folks doing this over here now. Yeah, you know that's what it felt like to me. It's like you don't need to know this. And uh, I'm glad. I'm and part me. Part of me is happy that I don't. <laughs> before you had mentioned before we started this podcast, you had mentioned something about the army and the shots in the army that. Okay. You okay. Were, I was in the Navy. Okay. I was in the Navy. But in what, the Navy. what what happened when we went to boot camp? The mm -hmm. medical thing in boot camp. You, you uh. Well, let me first let me let me take it back to put the contents. Well, boot camp when they they strip you for everything. They strip you of your identity in boot camp. And and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna go here to go take it where I want to go. Cause you're in boot camp. We all had well I had a little peach fuzz on my face and had a little little afro, and. And I remember we were sitting around, and I just one white guy I met. We became friends. We talked, and then they took us to the haircut line the next day. I remember he had long hair, and I had a fro, and we got a haircut. And I never, I don't know who my friend was. I lost my friend. I don't know who he was. He probably didn't know who I was. I didn't know who he was. Right. Because, but, uh, but anyway, anyway, boot camp, boot camp, like I said, they do everything stuff, all this stuff to you, and and the medical part, they give you this uh, what seems to be a great medical physical. But you know you're only 18, 19 years old, so you don't know what a great physical is. Anyway, <laughs> then they see, then you, then, then they send you through this line, and people on either side of you with these silver guns, and they just sit there 
and they would just shoot you as you walk through. It's like a mm. like a, like cattle going through. They would shoot you, and like I, you know what? Now it's like I don't even know what the shots are for, but we had to get them. We just walked through the mm. line, like and you hear this line. It's like a it's like a sucking sound. It's like, suck. Oh my! <laughs> and and oh my! Next, and you go through the line, and then they would take us <laughs> boot camp's a trip. Then we go to the dentist, and and man, they pulled a bunch of teeth from boot camp. They pulled a bunch of teeth. They just get they get the ripping it like that. You know, I found out they was really practicing medicine. <laughs> and, you know, like I, I, go ahead. There's a university <laughs> dental school here in New York, and everybody who goes there, no matter if they're just going for a cavity, they end up having their whole teeth re- replaced because they pull <laughs> all the teeth. One day I went there. Well, it was like my second time there, but they had never done anything. And good, I'm, I'm happy because I looked up at the chart and it was like a student's name and the procedures. They'd say, you have not done these procedures yet. And I said, oh, my God, these students are going to do these. They got to do these procedures whether we need them or not. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> They're going to yeah, do it. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I don't need to. Be, I'm not coming back to no dental school. Uh, no. <laughs> you know, y'all should be paying us, if anything, first of all. <laughs> and yeah, even yeah. though you're you're costing a little bit, mm, that don't seem right that you no. So I never went back. But I don't. I, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, they they it seemed like they yeah, they got to do some procedures before they can, it seemed that's what it seemed like to me. I never been to dental school, but I was in that office that day and I can read. I saw where they were telling these people, you need to do this. So, no. Yeah. No, no, yeah. It was yeah. Right. Just like, you know, just like when I was boot camp, I, 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 I knock on wood, I have never had a cavity in my life. Oh my but goodness. Boot camp, yeah, I have never had a cavity. But in boot camp, they drilled a hole in my teeth, my teeth and filled it. And when I go to the dentist now, they just say, what, what is that? They say, well, boot camp back in 1978. They they did that, and th- that was it. That oh was it. God. That was the procedure. They, they, they drilled a hole to fill it. You know, because everybody, if you go through that line, you're going to get something. You go If they say you, if, yeah. if you check it, yeah. they're going to do something to you. You're going you're, you're gonna to leave a part of you there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I remember one, one of the cold and flu things, one of the cold and flu event, if, if you didn't have gloves, you wear a pair of socks on your hands. Okay. You yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. Through through many a snowball with some socks. Yeah. On our hands. Yeah. But um. But, but I'm gonna ask you if you remember this, and I, I it was uh something if you have congested, there was a medicine cigarette that you could buy, and you would smoke it and be some medicine in it or something like that. I remember, I remember something like that. Something like that, like you and, just hit it. <laughs> and it was like I do remember cigarette. you going inhaling because you wouldn't. I do remember something like that. Here's the thing, too, brother. I remember when uh, doctors were telling pregnant women uh, that smoking would help with um, what they call morning sickness, yeah. Yeah. and um, okay. that <laughs> and that um, there were smoking was recommended for a lot of things, calming your nerves, um, morning sickness. And um, it's just so interesting how things have flipped, you know. Uh, yeah, so I like yeah, to say this. Yeah. I like to say this. I'm going to go there. So when you hear about different things today that are good for you, that you must have, these are mandatory, then you also have to remember all the things in the past that they said were good and mandatory and how did, how did some of those things turn out? So I just believe going forward as we go into these seasons of, you know, oh, the flu is coming. <laughs> oh, it's a strand. We never, you just got to say, okay, you know, okay, you got to use your gut. You just got to go with what yeah. you feel yeah. because you got to remember sometimes the experts do get it wrong. And so, you know, I, I'm still... Yeah. Depending on vapor rub and <laughs> I, I'm, 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 uh, I got, I'm gonna tell a story, and you you might have to cut this story out, but this is this is what oh. happened to me. I'm gonna tell you what happened. This happened. I was 16 years old, and I remember I was 16 years old. I just got my license, but I you know, I didn't have a car. But anyway, I knew I was. I just got my license. Anyway, I'm in the park, Douglas Park, 
playing basketball with my buddies. We're having a good time playing basketball. And all of a sudden, my butt starts hurting. All right, my butt started hurting. Not a, and I can't play, I can't play, I can't move, I can't play basketball. And I tell the fellas, man, I gotta go home. I don't know what's wrong, I gotta go home. So I go home, okay. And I, and I just, ride with me here. And my butt hurt and I can't figure it out. So in my wisdom, I know my You know, we do have everything. a family. This is a family friendly podcast, okay? I, I know, it's, it's family friendly. It's family friendly. <laughs> okay. I, remember, I, I, remember, I remember when I got home, I couldn't figure out what it was. And so I remember that I poured, alcohol on my backside because mama said alcohol everything and forgetting i'm thinking about i'm in pain but i forget about that's an open wound <laughs> you know so i'm in the house by myself yelling and yelling and yelling and this is the part i don't i was home by myself and all of a sudden i heard that front door open and mama came home and i remember i ran to the front door and i slid and i mooned her i said ma something wrong she said oh that number the hemorrhoid boy come on let's put some this preparation h on it <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a such thing as a hemorrhoid. I didn't know what it was. I was 16 years old. I swear, she put alcohol in everything. So I put alcohol in it. Oh, I thought I was yes. about to die. I thought oh, I was my to... God. <laughs> well, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if we should leave that right there or not. Should we put a, put a uh, book in on this? Yeah, I think we need to put a book in on this. So, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I can, okay, tell, I can only tell my the, I can only I can only tell my truth. <laughs> you can only tell your truth. Well, brother, we yeah. are happy that uh, our mother knew what to do for you, <laughs> and I guess the whole point of this. Uh, video was uh, re just remembering how uh, basically how we never went to the doctor. We, the doctor. Yeah, was... and, and, and 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 I remember what, like our family. Uh, we have a, we have a, a history of sinus issues, mm -hmm. and, and 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 I remember my mother used to the thing that we used to take was this stuff called Alaris. You remember Alaris? Mm -hmm. It was just a pill. It's kind of like I it was like an allergy pill. But I know mama used to. I said, Mama, nose running. She said, take one of these. And that, that was, the, and that's when, but I don't, like I said, you're a few years older than me, so I don't know. But mm -hmm. she, when that Alaris came around, she thought that was the best thing ever. Uh -huh. and I would take the Alaris. And, but, you know, I wasn't, you know what, I wasn't free to get, I always had to ask her. I never really knew where they were because, you know, she was, yeah, I she guess. Was in charge. Uh, I, charge of the, she was of in the, charge yeah. of the cabinet yeah. of the. And, 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 and all you needed was, all you needed was a bare aspirin. You needed uh, some alcohol cells to gargle. Uh, salt water, hot salt water, water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> salt, salt water, water. and then and, uh, and, as and, we were talking before, the once a year you take the castoria to clean you out. Castoria. That was and, nasty. Uh, yeah. That was oh god, I I didn't like that at all. It would take me yeah. forever to take mine down, but I that, yeah. she would yeah. every spring, every spring she would give. Is that right? Every spring. See, and, I, and, I, remember, remember? I remember taking. I remember taking. I remember taking. Remember big, like Did you ever take sulfur? I, like I do remember sulfur. sulfur. I don't. I, I don't remember. I, I remember sulfur. I remember it, but I don't remember how I remember it. But I remember. Okay. It. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So those. But didn't that, our... didn't, that, didn't, that, didn't, that, didn't that castor oil spoon? Didn't that spoon seem like it was bigger than the rest of the spoons? The castoria spoon. <laughs> yeah, the, spoon, the castoria. The spoon like it would yeah, come at that you was like, like uh, <laughs> it was like huge. I think it was supposed to be a tablespoon, but it felt like a serve a Thanksgiving serving spoon. And um, I just would, <laughs> yeah. I would do anything just not to take that. It was just so awful tasting. It was so awful tasting. I, well, you know what? I remember the cough medicine in those bottles that they used to pour stuff in. And I remember, yeah. like, shaking my head, like, no, no. <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing. You weren't even a toddler. You, you were, you no, were 16. You were <laughs> Yeah. But the stuff we did, man, the stuff we did, and we and, and we lived. <laughs> we lived. We lived to tell the tale. We lived, we lived God, man. God, God so, bless us. God. You know, yeah. open, so, open, wound, open wounds and all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was like, like I said before, if somebody started talking about a doctor in the hospital, you knew that was serious. You knew that was... I, I really remember serious. in the park, in the park playing football or sports, whatever. Somebody would sprain the ankle. Well, I mean, this one guy broke his broke his ankle, mm. and everybody around said, "You'd be all right. Just tighten your shoe." 
You limp home with your, your foot crunched on And somehow you, you be outside the next day, you just be limping a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, brother, on that note, I'm going to wish everybody a healthy, <laughs> a healthy, wonderful, and safe flu, what they call the flu and cold season. And if you were born in the 1950s, or 60s, or before, and truly before, you know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> yeah, put, a little, put a little mud on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for right, watching. Girl. We love you all. all right. Last all word, right. brother, bye any bye. last word? No. Okay. Thank Have you so week. much. Bye-bye. Peace out. Bye-bye.